You know what? Screw protecting generators. I'm supposed to be a killer, not a glorified bodyguard. So I'm not protecting gens. In fact, go ahead and do them, and we'll see how well that goes for you. The build I'm using is going to be centered around letting people complete gens, so I can then kill them for completing those gens. Fired up. I do everything faster the more gens are completed. Coop the Grace. I lunge way farther for every gen that's completed. Bitter Murmur. I can see where everyone is every time a gen pops. And Cruel Limits. You can't fault anything right next to a gem when it pops. Let's see how it goes. Alright, we're on the family residence. Yomoka's estate. So the strategy here is that we actually don't really care if our gens pop. All we really want to do is just punish people when they do pop. Looks like we're going to be able to do that. Ooh, good ball my first game of the day by the way so you know it's not my fault if I play like cheeks ah oh, dead hard well sick perks sick perks I could go for the spicy basement hook a uh, bitter murmur nice can't really avoid that because she walked into a, a very hard place to defend, or avoid hits. Good. Nice. Are you serious? Yeah, seems legit. Alright, so we pick up slightly faster now. That's just so freaking worth it. So far we've gotten virtually no value out of any of our perks. Hey, didn't I down you already? Oh, that actually got me. I thought she was juking back. Okay, 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 okay. She actually went for the window. I guess she doesn't play versus Demogorgon that much. Here, I'm just gonna break a window or two. What the? What are you doing? <laughs> Alright. It's bad that that almost got me. There's another person. And you're gonna give me a free hit. Yep, yep, yep. Dead hard. Sick. If I had to guess where they are, they're over here healing. I can possibly interrupt that, maybe get it down. LOD, now you're dead. Dead hard, just kidding. I'll give you another chance. I'll let you roam wild for a little bit. Are you running? You're running out the door. Ooh. Sick dead hard. Alright, this build's working so well. All these perks have come into play so much. Oh, I haven't been trying to save my Coupe de Grace sacks. I just realized I've been wasting those. Oh, are you serious? You ran to the one spot. Well, I... Yeah, you had you had it you had your chance. <laughs> that is just unlucky. She literally ran to the one spot I wasn't. There could be someone there. There is. You just ran into me. I would kick that gen after this chase, but I don't. Oh, you're up here still. I don't really want to. Uh, you're down. You teleported. Did a little backflip for the boys. Or girls. I guess you're all women. What? Oh, that missed. 
I wouldn't have heard you if you didn't fall, like, into me. What are these guys doing? What the? What'd I get stuck on? Oh, you have growth. What? What? What the hell's going on? I guess I'll just go for you then, damn. Balance? She didn't, she just ran into a wall. I thought she was just gonna go around the wall, but she just ran into it. Alright. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Demogorgon, let's go. <laughs> God, I love this killer. This is why I'm a Demogorgon main, gentlemen. And we did it. Well, I must say, the build did absolutely nothing the entire game. I just played Perkless Demogorgon. Fired Up might have helped me save like a quarter of a millisecond. That one time, like I picked someone up. Otherwise though, completely useless build. Holy crap. Alright, well we're going to try this again. And let's get into the next one. We are on Torment Creek. We're going to be dropping a portal right here. And remember, you usually want to place your portals between generators. If you can put something obscuring the view, that works. But you don't want to put them on top of generators, because if that generator gets completed, then that portal becomes a lot less useful. And here you are. She was actually trying to mind game me pretty hard there, but it didn't work. And she's not going to camp the pallet. I can already tell by the way she's playing. Usually players that try to go for mind games more often, very rarely, just sit and camp pallets. I have to chase her like this. Oh, well, she didn't go for it. Okay, so she's staying around here. I think I end up catching her here. Ah! I was out of range. Kinda have to throw that. Oh, Coop the Grace actually came into play there! Yo! You bitch. <laughs> Coop the Grace actually did something! Holy crap! He's running for distance. That's amazing. Yeah, these, these team is significantly better than the first one. So every time this build does something, that is a victory and a half. Uh, there's no pallet here. Yes! Let's see if they do it again. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, there we go. She didn't know how to block it. Now we're getting a lot of people injured, which is really good for us. Yeah, complete that gen. Complete that gen. Good, good, good. Failed. Dead hard. If I had a stack there, I would have hit her. Alright, these guys are pretty good. But they're playing really aggro and not pumping out gems. Which is going to cause them problems later on. Honestly, I kind of wish I'd get that gen complete. I could use some more stacks. Do the gens, baby. Do the gens. She just faults it? Okay. Bring that ass over here. I got a nice comfy spot for you. Thank you for the seat, fine gentlemen. 
It warms my heart to see such compassion in the youth nowadays. Oh, they're healing now. And they ran this way. And I placed a bad portal. But she has dead heart. Why was I waiting for a sprint first there? You don't make this loot. See, this is the issue. They're not really coordinating that well together. And this is like the difference probably between Solo and Survive with Friends. Like, Survive with Friends team would have popped that gen over there a long time ago. Would have pressured, you know, every unhook a little more effectively. I guess they are pressuring them pretty effectively, but even so. DS? No DS. But the Survive with Friends team would be doing a lot of the things they're doing just more efficiently. Solely because it's just easier for them to talk to each other. Not because Survive with Friend OP, blah blah blah. I don't really care about that. If possible. Yeah, I wanted to save my stack there. Where did she run? This way. We're still in a good spot. We have one stack up of Coupe de Grace. Let's see if we can get it to work a second time. That would. Oh, almost had it. I didn't need it there. But that works. This LED fell for the same trick twice. Uh, she's got to stop throwing pals down too quickly. But it's up to her to change it, not up to me to change my strategy. It's working. Is there a gen over here? No, I'm not going to place a portal right here. It's one injured person running this way. Oh, are we actually getting value out of Bitter Murmur? So, Woohoo! The extra lunge distance actually helped us counter dead hard. That's huge. That being said, they're going back to popping gens at a decent pace, which makes this a lot harder. Nice, we lose a stack. This person's dead, so that's one dead. I don't really want to go to basement, even though I'll lose a hook. Just waste too much time. That one gen over there is close, so I'm gonna go over to it. Because they probably ran to it. They did run to it. You're in here. You're not in here. Did you run away from it? You did run away from it. That pallet's still up! I want to save it. That's really bad. I want to save my lunge and I, I, I assume the pallet was down. Oh, that's actually terrible. She has a key as well, so we've got to go for this person. Playing really safe now, because she has to. Where did she run? There we go. And we get her here. We saved our token. I don't know what these guys are doing. They could literally have that gen over there completed. What are they doing? How are they missing this many skill checks? I don't understand. There's someone over there? Yeah, okay. I guess they could get the hatch escape. That's possible for them. My token! No! This is such a sad day. Nope, we don't kick Jen, so I almost forgot. Nia. 
Yep. I could have uh, possibly hit her there. Yep. You have to be trolling. You have to be trolling. How do you keep missing skill checks? Are we gonna get that spicy 4K, gentlemen? Oh. Oh, well played. So, you know, perk build did honestly better than I expected. One thing that I didn't realize is Coop de Grace actually can like counter dead hard. Cause you swing at someone, they dead hard, and then you keep lunging far enough to actually hit the dead hard. The only way they would, you know, know that to like avoid that is if they dead hard super early, and even then I think you might be able to reach him with this. So holy crap, this is actually can, can be a counter to dead hard. Kind of. Uh, fired Up did about as much as you'd expect. Bitter Murmur helped once or twice, but honestly, I kind of forgot to look when gens were getting completed, or I was in situations where I couldn't look, because I was in a chase. Cruel Limits really disappointed me, not gonna lie. Um, I don't think it actually made a difference a, a single time. Uh, regardless, though, that was a fun build. Do I, would I recommend it? Eh, 